Have you been watching American Idol, you guys? Listen, I am deep into this show now. Very invested. The original singing competition is back for its 22nd season. Okay, and social media is stirring over a particular audition from last night, accusing a former contestant of stealing her best friend's audition for another chance to compete on the show. Take a look. On the cellars, biting on the dance floor. Oh, man, look at those cavemen go. It's the freaky show. Is that life on Mars? Ragu, oh, my goodness. Oh my God. Just for giggles, I'd love to sing you something. Yeah, come on, give it, it to it. us. Your body next to mine. Wow, okay. Lauren Andrego is our idol super fan. Nice. I pale in comparison to her. <laughs> um, she's here to break down what we missed last night. Okay, so explain to the people who didn't see it, what's the dynamic with let's, these two and what happened? Let's talk about it. So these are two young women who just moved to LA together um, to pursue their singing dreams. They're 20 and 21. And this, the first girl who you saw, Julia, this was her first time ever auditioning. She's she went, the blonde. She's the blonde. She went in first by herself, sang David Bowie, Life on Mars. The judges didn't love it. Tough well, song, too. Lionel I think said, it was the wrong song. Lionel said, it reminded me of the first time I heard Gaga, right. which is a great compliment. He was disappointed. Um, yeah. They gave her a no, right. and then she said, oh, hey, you guys know my roommate. She was on the show five years ago. And they go, said, bring her in. So let's say hi. So the judges all say hi to her, and she goes, well, how about I just sing for you guys? Mm. And then she sang, and then she said, well, if you guys want, this could be considered my audition. Was, and then she got a golden ticket. She basically stole the audition. That's what so a, how a lot icky. of people feel. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, obviously, some producers had something to do with how all of that transpired, but it does feel a little weird. Yeah. Katy Perry was having Julia. none of it. Well, Katy Perry yeah. was like, this is not cool. She said no to both of them. She didn't like she the She said first she was one. leaving. At the end, if you watch the entire audition, Katy Perry's like, I'm leaving. Yeah. Because you can tell, like, this is not a girl's girl thing to do. Katy Perry's like, I want to root for the girl I just said no to. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't obviously want her to feel like she's mm -hmm. feeling because the producers... The editors, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. I mean, the shots of this poor Julia girl licking her lips, like like this pensive face, like, what have I done? And After putting yourself out there in it front is, of it was superstars. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. So I, I did not watch the show last night. I just was scrolling through Instagram this morning and saw that clip and immediately went to the comments. Mm -hmm. And everyone is bashing Alyssa Ragu. It'll be interesting to see how she does then, because as she moves forward, I mean, so much of it is audience participation, too, right. and people voting, and I think that's a tough way to start off, even though she's True. really talented, yeah, but interesting. While we're here, I'll just sing a song I wow. didn't forget. It's interesting. And what they said to Julia is come back next year, which is what they've said to a couple of auditioners. I know. Uh, last night so and throughout the next season. year. I, like yes, it. there is. Sounds like they're gearing up know. for Idol 23. Um, I want to show you guys a couple other auditions because what I've been doing is playing some some video of some auditioners this like fun. this guy, Michael Rice. And based on vibes alone, I want you to guess who he sang. So, uh -oh. so Michael's from England. We've got a lot of international auditioners this year. He described his difficult childhood, a strained relationship with his dad, which he rekindled when he was a teenager shortly before his dad died. So he dedicated this audition to him. And Kelly, I'm going to ask you because Elizabeth did watch right, the audition. Watch. Yep, okay. yep. Which Idol All Star did Michael sing a song from? Oh. Was it Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, Chris Daughtry, or Adam Lambert? She's been paying more Four attention to his superstars. Face. I want to say Adam Lambert. Oh, okay. Let's take a look. Oh. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side so I don't get hurt. Because of you, I find it hard to trust not only me. She 
should, Listen, I should have known it was this song. It was so good, and the judges emotion. loved it. They said that he would have this amazing ability to take a song that someone else wrote and make it sound like it was he wrote it about it himself. Yeah, those lines. Have, That's how good it what was. What I do love when we don't hear the song and we just see the judges' faces, yeah. <laughs> like they have to be really conscious about what their faces are. Sometimes Luke animated. Bryan does this funny like stare and then one lip, lip up kind of a thing. <laughs> it's really interesting. They try to be a little bit more polite than Simon Cowell oh, was back sure. in the day, I Which think. Which we appreciate. Um, I'm excited to see Michael go on. I think he could do Adam Lambert and he would kill it. He's really good. Uh, let's talk about Elizabeth's favorite audition from the night. Ellie Marie. I loved her. Okay. Adorable. She's oh, going to be around pretty. for a while. Um, she's a military daughter and she brought her family out and talked about her dad who might be deployed again mm -hmm. as she continues wow. her idol journey. Um, but she blew the judges away with a classic from Bonnie Raitt. Let's <gasps> take a look at this. What? And you can't make your heart feel something it won't here in the dark. In these final hours, I will lay down my heart. And I feel the power. Okay, she's going to win. She's so good. You guys, they called her top ten. Yeah. Is that was amazing. It, that, ha it happens to be my favorite song in all the Well, I just world, learned this though. right now. It's that's a karaoke, my, karaoke song. That's that's karaoke karaoke you're karaoke singing song. that song in a bar? <laughs> karaoke? I'll sing whatever you want me to sing. Hey! Too legit to quit? I'll sing it. Lauren doesn't realize how fun we are. You know why? <laughs> I believe because it. Because we're in our 40s and <laughs> Lauren, children. Is, she doesn't see that we can be super fun. You know what? We I, were fun. I get it. That was just a minor <laughs> it's key. Like, it's like, <laughs> it feels sad. It's like that song when we were young or I was young. What's the song? You know the song? The Miley Cyrus song? Thank you. Used to be Young. <laughs> I used to be young. All right, everyone. do we have time for Lillian Hackett? Let's try to get to it. Because uh, I just want to talk about this. A lot of people are coming out with original songs and they're mm -hmm. auditioning with them, which is a risk, but yeah. it paid off for one of my favorite auditions for the night, Lillian. Are you from Tennessee? The only ten I see that's too cheesy yes, and embarrassing me. Oh, I'm a lost cause. Don't know. country folk thing. I'm digging that. Me too. Aunt Lauren, this is so fun. We'll see you next week, Thank okay? You. Yeah, we Great love job. It. All right, American Idol is Sunday at 7 right here on 5 Eyewitness News. Our American Idol recaps are sponsored by Woodhouse Spa. You can indulge in a relaxing spa experience that will melt away those worries and leave you feeling transformed, rejuvenated, and ready for karaoke in a bar, Kelly. <laughs> Call now or visit woodhousespas.com to book a massage, a facial, or a body treatment. They have locations in Maple Grove, Woodbury, and coming soon, Rosedale Center. That's close to us. Yeah.